Today we're back with another mental exercise for you and something you can practice when you go bowling. We're going to be directing traffic today, is that right? That's that's pretty spot on. It's it's the green, yellow, and red light system. And, and I use it with my players because I see so many players when they compete, they get into a red light situation where they, they focus on things that are uncontrollable, outcomes, other components, lane conditions, all those uncontrollables. We want to get them present. We want to get their self-talk positive. We want to make sure they're taking that deep breath. We want to make sure that they're truly confident so they have the best chance to succeed. Absolutely. Let's head out to the lanes and let's take a look at the drill that Mike has prepared for you. You know, one of the greatest challenges we have as players is to bowl present and bowl at your best. This is going to be a mindset uh, lesson where we talk about how do we enable ourselves to be our best mentally. And what I teach to my players is the green, yellow, red light system. And I'm going to refer back to how that got its name is, as you can see here, is we got a traffic light system and I use the same analogies from as you're driving through an intersection as, as we perform and compete on the bowling lanes is when we're going through green lights, good things happen. We're calm, we're relaxed, nothing to worry about, we're present. Now when we start seeing yellow lights, we know that what's coming next is a red light. So we get a little faster, we may speed through those. Some of us may stop to be safe, but we know if we continue to, to beat yellow lights, something negative is going to happen. Now red lights, as we go through intersections, we know that we've got to stop. If we run yellow or red lights, we know that either an accident is going to happen or something negative getting picked up by a police officer, but something negative will happen. Now let's take that same analogy, that same principle, and apply it to the mindset in bowling. Now as we look, when we're green, bowlers are. They're, they're bowling well, they're confident, their self-talk is really good, they're not worried about their competition, they're staying present, they're relaxed, their breathing's good, things are good, we've all been there. Now, when we start getting into a, a yellow situation on the lanes, that's where we may start looking at our opponents we're bowling against, maybe we're starting to leave those those corner pins were starting to get frustrated. Maybe the lanes are starting to transition and we don't know what ball. We're starting to panic a little bit. We're starting to get outside of our controllables. That again is we're trying to speed up. What I've noticed with my players, your breathing's not as deep. You're starting to think too much. Some negative thoughts creep in. Your pre-shot routine isn't getting executed as well as it was when you were in a green light. Now let's get to the worst part of bowlers when they start performing when they fry, as I call it, the red light syndrome. Now, when they're in a red light, bowlers, we know, and we've all been there before, where we just cannot execute a shot. We're not bowling present, we're negative. We're talking either, uh, we're thinking about the outcome, what we need. We're, we're not executing our pre-shot routine, our post-shot routine. We're not breathing, we get up on the approach. Things are really bad, we're frying. And, and, and the game is, the competition for you is almost over unless you've got a strategy to get back to the green light mindset in the game of bowling. So how do we do that? Well, first thing you got to do is we talked in one of our other sessions about a release system. You've got to make sure your feet and your head are at the same spot, meaning you got you got to bowl present. And what I call this uh, big breathing greatness. You've got to breathe. You've got to start faking it to make it with your self-talk. You've really got to do use all of your strategies, self-talk, breathing, start executing your pre-shot routine to stay green. You can get back there, but again, this is one of those techniques, even when you're practicing outside of competition, you should practice on going from red to green, going from yellow to green. The bowlers who can stay green throughout the competition are the bowlers that are usually going to be on top Great players have great physical games and great mental games. So go out and breathe, use positive self-talk, execute your pre-shot and post-shot routines, and try to stay green throughout your competition. As you can see in this video, and me being around bowling for a long time like yourself and many of the people at home that are watching this video, 
man, a 10 pin can get the most of you. A guy goes Brooklyn on you. All those just extra things that are happening in the bowling center that can really bother you. Step in water. I and mean, I could go on and on the excuse towel. But this drill today really is able to clear all that out of the way. Great strategies, Mike. As we talked, we want to stay green. We want things we can control. And you're right. Bowling, there's so many uncontrollables that we get, we put all our energy into. And, and my bowlers, the ones I work with, I tell them, don't waste any energy and things you can't control. Because those will get you into yellow moments and then red moments. But if you get there, and we've all been there, what is your strategy to get back to green so you can control your controllables? Yeah, and it's more than just bowling. It's a good life lesson as well. Make sure everything that you're doing in your life, you try to stay green as much as possible. Hey guys, we are so blessed to have Coach Mike Shady here on the Inside Bowling YouTube channel. Hope you're learning a lot from all of his tips that we're providing for you. And if you did learn something today, please, please hit that like button and make sure you subscribe to our channel to make sure you're informed about all the new tips that will be coming out. Also, if you'd like to support our channel, you can head over to InsideBowling.com where we do sell some merch. It really does help us out a lot. we got a coupon code for you today. It's YouTube. Type in YouTube. You save 15%. Thanks so much, and we look forward to helping build your game.